contract pricing allows you to determine a specific price for a particular customer. This price can be for a single item for which a customer agreement has been made or for an entire category of items that a customer may purchase. Calculate either a discount from the base price, override the customer type code for a particular item, calculate a cost plus percentage, or enter a flat fixed amount that the customer receives when making a purchase. Even the sale price date range can be customized for a particular item customer combination. To understand the contract pricing function, it's best to take a look at an example. Let's take an example where a specific price arrangement was made with a certain customer that no other customer receives. Enter or select the customer number, and then determine the price for an individual item or a category of items. Depending on the price by field, either category code or item number, the lower portion of the window adjusts. Select category to provide a global discount on the entire category of items. Remember, when items are added, they are assigned to a category. When an item is sold to a customer using this category, the system calculates the customer-specific discount options. Let's first look at the category options by selecting the Accessories category. The contract price for the category can then be determined. First, the discount structure assigned to the discount type can be overridden. This is the A through E discount options that are assigned to a customer. An additional discount, a larger percent off the price can be given, replacing any discount that may have been given to a customer, or a cost plus percentage or fixed amount can be given. Selecting discount percentage, the next step is to enter the discount in the field below. Click the Use Lowest Price field if the system is to always give the customer the lowest calculated price from all the possible discount price calculations provided to the customer. This is useful because other price calculations may exist. Quantity discounts, sale price discounts, and many others. It's possible that one of those discount amounts may cause the item price to be lower than the previously negotiated customer contract price. Selecting this option gives the customer the lowest price regardless of how that price is calculated. The start and expiration dates can be populated if this special discount structure is only valid for a certain date range. If the specific price is to be associated with a specific item, customer combination, rather than the entire category of items, then select item number here. Discount information entered now refers to when the customer purchases the specific item, which possibly no other customer receives. When entering an item number, notice, it can be entered without the segment separators. This is true throughout ACPAC. ACPAC knows where the segment separator characters go because of the structure code. Then choose which price list this contract price is linked with. The next step is to define the specifics of this unique customer item combination. There are several ways to base the contract price. It can be based on the customer type field, the A through E discount codes discussed earlier, a percentage discount, a flat discount amount, a cost plus a percentage, a cost plus a fixed amount, or finally, a fixed price based on no other conditions. Selecting percentage discount, for example, notice after entering a percentage, the system displays the price for this customer, 56.99 in this case. Price is based on a flat discount amount, say $10, the system shows the amount as $49.99 this time. If the price is to be calculated on the cost of the item plus a percentage or amount, the system bases it on the markup cost used by the item. Or finally, a fixed price can be entered, which the system always uses for the customer item combination. In this example, let's say Royal Black receives a special price for this item for the amount of $48.75. Again, the Use Lowest Price option is available, as well as the start and expiration dates. Blanks indicate there is no date range, but if dates are entered here, a sales document that is entered between the dates, for this customer and item combination of course, 
defaults to the price here. If the sales document is dated after the expiration date, the system returns to the normal price, based on other factors. Please proceed to the additional item components.